Original Crunch TV. Welcome, I'm Bisky B and you're watching Crunch Travel, the show that takes you to your favourite destinations around the globe. And this week I'm here in possibly the most noisiest city in all of Asia. A city famous for its war with the Americans, its beautiful temples, and bikes, bikes, and more bikes. So get the Fertilites Doug's Eggs on the go, a couple of glasses of tasty snake wine, sit back, relax and enjoy the show and I'll show you all the wonderful things to see and do in this crowded, chaotic but yet charming city. Welcome to Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh, the largest and most populated city in Vietnam is located by the Saigon River in the south of the country and is home to around 10 million people. The majority of the people are Buddhist, the currency used is the Dong and the language spoken is Vietnamese. Formerly known as Saigon until 1976, the city was renamed Ho Chi Minh after the revolutionary leader. A communist state city is famous for its war with the Americans, pagoda temples, chaotic traffic, bustling markets and French colonial architecture. Although Ho Chi Minh is rich in history, the city has one of Southeast Asia's fastest growing economies and modern buildings like skyscrapers are developing very quickly and if you don't get there soon, you may miss some of the city's charm. When it comes to getting about the city, motorbikes rule the road and the motorbike taxis are the quickest way to get from A to B. Other forms of transport include buses, cyclos, which are a three-wheeled bicycle and also a dying breed, and taxis. And if you are thinking of using taxis to get about, make sure you use the Vinison and Mylon brands as they are the most trustworthy and always get them to turn the meter on. Right, let's go see some of these famous landmarks. Taxi! The first landmark we visited was the Notre Dame Cathedral, located in Paris Commune Street in District 1. The cathedral was built in the late 1880s and all the materials to build the church were imported from France. Visiting hours are from 4pm Monday to Friday and entrance price is free. Conveniently located next to the church was our next stop, the Saigon Central Post Office. Also designed by the French, it's one of the oldest buildings in Ho Chi Minh and still operates today as the busiest post office in the country. Next up, and it's more French architecture, this time at the People's Committee Hall. Once the hotel, it now serves as a government workplace. Just a five minute walk up the road from the People's Hall, you'll find the Independence Palace, also known as the Reunification Palace. It first opened its doors to the public in 1990, and on the ground floor you'll find meeting rooms, and on the second floor, games rooms and a cinema, but the most interesting rooms are left to the basement, where you find telecommunications equipment, war bunkers, and where the president would have slept during an attack. Entrance price to the palace costs 30,000 dong, and opening times are between 8am and 11am, and 1pm till 4.30pm. And last but not least, a look at the Kwok Tho Pagoda, located in District 10. The seven-storey pagoda looks nice during the day, but the locals say it looks even best after dark, when it's all lit up. And although it's nice to see the historical buildings, it's also nice to see the modern ones too, especially when they offer fantastic views of the city. That's why I've come here to the Bixico Tower. The Saigon Sky Deck is located on the 49th floor of the Bixico Financial Tower in District 1 and offers some of the best views of the city. As well as the view, you'll find a bar serving overpriced drinks and snacks. Entrance price to the tower is 200,000 dong for adults and 130,000 dong for children and it's open every day from 9.30am to 9.30pm. If you'd like to visit some of the museums of the city, try out the Museum of Vietnamese History. Located in District 1 next to the zoo, entrance price is only 15,000 dong and covers the history of Vietnam dating back to the Bronze Age and I was surprised to see they even had a sculpture of my mate Steve from back in the UK. If you'd like to know about the history of this city, check out the Ho Chi Minh City Museum, formerly known as the Revolutionary Museum and before that the Guai Long Palace. Entrance price is a mere 15,000 dong. If you'd like to learn about the revolutionary leader that the city is named after, visit the Ho Chi Minh Museum. Not to be confused with the Ho Chi Minh City Museum, it's located by the riverfront in District 1. Here, you'll get an insight into the leader's life and can even see some of his artefacts like his clothing that he once wore. 
If you're a lover of the arts, try out the Fine Arts Museum located close to the Benten Market. The museum is made up of three buildings covering everything from contemporary art to ancient Khmer artifacts. Entrance price is 10,000 dong for adults and 3,000 for children. Other museums consist of the Women's Museum and the Tong Duk Fang Museum. If you'd like to learn about the war, then the Kuchi Tunnels is a must. Located about an hour and a half drive from the city, you get the chance to experience what life was like for the Viet Cong and get to see the tunnels and the traps that they used to fight the Americans with during the war. You also get a taste of the food that they had to rely on at the time and can even shoot a machine gun or shotgun for about an extra 20 pounds. Get to the chopper! And if you do want to know more about the Vietnam War, then there's one museum that you absolutely have to visit and it's this place behind me, the War Remnants Museum. The War Remnants Museum located in District 3 is an absolute must for any visitor to Ho Chi Minh. The museum showcases the devastating, brutal and horrific effects of the Vietnam War and what it did to the country and its people. Some of the photos on display are deeply disturbing and emotional and will definitely bring a tear to the eye of the majority of the visitors. Opening times are from 7.30 till midday and from 1.30pm till 5pm and entrance price is 15,000 dong. Well that was very emotional and some of those photos are deeply upsetting but it's definitely a must do. Right, enough of the sad stuff, let's go get drunk, let's check out the nightlife. Ho Chi Minh's nightlife is great and every night feels like party night. For cheap drinks head to the lively backpacker area of Pham Lao Lu and Bu Vin also known as Bar Street for a large selection of bars and clubs that go on to the early hours of the morning. If you're into your bands, head to 17 Saloon, where you find different bands playing cover songs every night. If you like your jazz, try out the Saxon Art Jazz Club on Leloy Street for nightly performances. Or, if you like your music more classical, catch a performance at the Opera House located near the Community Hall. Next to the Opera House, you'll find more upscale bars and Walking Street, where you find young local Vietnamese students hanging out. If you prefer your drinks with a view, head to the many rooftop bars in the city like the Sky Bar or the OMG Rooftop Bar and my favourite, Chill, where the music thumps all night and the bartenders like to show off their skills. Or if your dancing days are over and you feel like something more traditional, then why not try out the Golden Dragon Water Puppet Show? Let's check it out. The Golden Dragon Water Puppet Show is one of the only places to catch a traditional Vietnamese puppet show in the city. Located about a 15 minute walk from the Benton Market, the show is performed entirely in Vietnamese and lasts about an hour. Entrance price is 200,000 dong and shows start from around 6.30pm every night. If you like to shop, and let's face it who doesn't when they're on holiday, then there's plenty of choices on where to shop in Ho Chi Minh. For upscale shopping and designer shops, head to the Dong Khoi Road where you'll find top labels such as Versace and Chanel. If you like shopping in malls, there's plenty around the city including the Diamond Plaza located next to the Notre Dame Cathedral, the Vincom Centre and the 7 storey Saigon Centre which has over 400 shops and a nice skating ring during the winter period. Or if you're like me and you like to haggle and like the hustle and bustle of a market, then come here to the city's busiest, the Ben 10 Market. The Ben 10 Market located in District 1 is the most popular tourist market in the city. Here you'll find all sorts of products on sale from t-shirts, watches, handicrafts, hats, dresses, suits and coffee. If you get hungry, you'll also find plenty of stores selling cooked foods too. Open every day, the market closes in the evening, but on the roads on either side of the market, you'll then find street markets and you can shop well into the night when the climate is much cooler. Well that was fun, I got myself a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, a New York hat and a pair of fake Jordans. Wicked! If you're travelling with children, take them to the Dam Sen Water Park. Filled with plenty of slides, wave machines and a lazy river, it's a great place to escape the humid heat of the city. Entrance price is 150,000 dong for anyone over 1.4 meters and 100,000 dong for anyone under 1.4 meters and it's open every day from 9am till 6pm. If your kids are animal lovers, then why not take them to the Saigon Zoo and Botanical Gardens where you'll find a wide range of animals including elephants and monkeys and a small selection of children's funfair rides, all located in a peaceful and green environment. 
entrance prices to the zoo is 50,000 dong. If you consider yourself a foodie, then there's plenty of choice when it comes to eating around the city. Around the Benton Market area, you'll find plenty of cheap restaurants and street foods on offer. I also came across a few restaurants catering for vegetarians, halal and vegans, so nobody goes hungry in Ho Chi Minh. If you want to try one of the traditional dishes, definitely give pho a try, a lightly flavoured soup with a meat of your choice. There are also plenty of fast food restaurants, so if you fancy a taster back home, it's easy to get. If you're a coffee lover, you'll be spoilt for choice. There are tons of coffee shops all over the place. If you like your food spicy, give Bowsy Steam Bum Bar a try. If you can finish their six spicy wings in six minutes, you have a photo placed on the wall of fame. Well, sadly, we've come to the end of another show and I must say Ho Chi Minh's been excellent. And I hope we've given you some great ideas on things to do when visiting the city. So until next time, keep it crunch travel and I'll see you in another exciting city real soon. Take care. Bye.